Welcome back to Cooking with Glenn and Katie. Uh, today we'll be making some cranberry bread and we're at Katie's house today. I'm excited to be cooking with her and I'm gonna be her sous chef. Katie, you're gonna be in charge of cooking today. I'm super excited. This is our first episode that we filmed at my house and it's actually gonna be a two-day video in one for you guys. We're cooking the cranberry bread today, and then tomorrow morning, Ray and I are gonna have Dad over so we can enjoy a good breakfast together and eat the cranberry bread all together, give our thoughts and see what Ray thinks too. This recipe means a lot to our family because my mom would make it just about every single Thanksgiving or Christmas for us. The way she found out about the recipe was actually through a children's book called Cranberry Thanksgiving by Wendy and Harry Devlin. She would read this children's book to my sister and myself and some other homeschooling students that we were friends with and we just loved the book and then she would make the bread to go along it just was perfect. This is a perfect recipe for the holiday season. You can make it for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Anytime you're having some parties this season, it'll be perfect. All right, Katie, let's go cook. Okay. Two cups of sifted all-purpose flour, one cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of baking soda, four tablespoons of butter, one egg beaten, one teaspoon of grated orange peel, and three-fourths of a cup of orange juice, one and a half cups of golden raisins, one and a half cups of chopped cranberries. I'm gonna start by chopping these cranberries up using my little Oscar. Do a quick chop with them. All right, I've chopped the cranberries. They're about the same size as the raisins are. This is a rough chop. You don't want to chop them too fine. Here I am, I'm gonna be zesting the orange. So I'm just gonna go through here and grate it. Go around. Look at all that, it kind of accumulates on the bottom. Now we have our teaspoon of orange zest. Now we need to get some orange juice. You can use prepared orange juice, but we're going to take some oranges. I bought a big bag of oranges and I'm going to squeeze some oranges. I juiced five oranges and it equals three fourths cup and that's what we need. I'm going to start by sifting together the flour, baking powder, salt, and baking soda into a large bowl. I'm going to use my KitchenAid stainless steel bowl. I love this sifter. I got it from my grandmother Nana several years back and I just enjoy using it. So I'm literally just gonna sift this flour and the other three ingredients into the bowl and go from there. Now that Dad and I have done the prep work for this recipe, we're gonna go ahead and put it all together so we can get it in the oven. Now that I've sifted together the flour, baking powder, salt, and baking soda, I'm gonna fold in the sugar. Of course, you can always sift the sugar in with all the rest if you'd like. There we go, now it's well mixed. 
And now I'm gonna add the cubes of butter. I put in the cubes of butter and now I'm working it through the flour with my fingers until it becomes crumbly. Next, I'm going to add in the orange peel, the orange juice, and the egg. Just gonna scrape that in like so. And pour in the egg. And the orange juice. It smells amazing. And now I'm just gonna mix all of these until the dry ingredients are moistened. We're making something mom would have loved. I know she would have. Now while I'm letting you guys see this, dad's behind the camera, what do you think? Can you smell it? Oh man, it smells great. I sure can. It is gonna be delicious. But now on for the last steps. We need to add in the chopped cranberries and raisins. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these cranberries in here. Mm-mm-mm, looking good. The raisins should go in a little easier. There we go. Now if you don't like raisins, you can absolutely leave them out. Just double the cranberries. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold these in. Okay, just a minute. So now we're gonna put it into this pan that my sous chef dad sprayed with cooking spray so nothing will stick. This pan size is nine inches by five inches with a three inch depth. Look at this loaf, guys. So beautiful and festive. Now we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven and cook it for 70 minutes, or an hour and 10 minutes. Into the oven, she goes. Hey Google, set a 70 minute timer called cranberry bread. Sure, a one hour and 10 minute timer called cranberry bread. There we Starting go. Starting now. Okay. Check out this beautiful loaf of bread. Oh my goodness, perfection. So what I'm gonna do next is Take this loaf and put it on this cooling rack so it can cool overnight until breakfast with Dad and Ray tomorrow morning. Look who's here. Hey Ray, how you doing? Good, welcome. Well, good to be here. Yeah. Bacon. I was here yesterday. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. I did some bacon. Hey, music. Hey, oh. buddy. Hey there. You glad to see me, aren't you? You seem like glad to see me. You glad for me to rub you. That's what it is. All right. Well, it's time for us to eat. We have this basket that we put our bread in. This one that Robin made. And so we'll get a piece out of here. Oh, man. This looks good. Katie, you tell me so pretty. Oh. Look at that. Wow. The slice has turned out great today, It is, it is, and you can see it's distributed really well in here, and you can see the cranberries and the raisins. Thanks for this breakfast. I love bacon, and I used a little bit of bacon grease for my omelet. I've got cheese omelet. That looks beautiful. It's gonna be good. And here's my plate. I decided to scramble up some cheesy eggs with bacon, and I got myself a slice of the cranberry bread as well, too. I mean, look at that blend of the raisins and the cranberries. It looks beautiful. And I've got scrambled eggs with cheese and garlic mixed in, some bacon, well done, and some buttered toast, so I'm excited. But, right, if I give you a just a bite of the bread, would you try it? Yeah, sure. Mm. What do you think of the cranberry bread? Mm. It's really good. Nice and sweet. I got some cranberries in there. 
bottom is nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. Well done. I love the crust. The crust is chewy. You've got the tartness of the cranberries and the sweetness of the raisins. Very good. Thumbs up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of my bread. It looks amazing. Mmm. That tastes delicious. The cranberries, the raisins, the bread, it's moist. Mmm. -hmm. And that crust that Dad and Ray were talking about is excellent. It's got this great crunch. This is perfect. I might have to eat the whole loaf myself. Dad, thank you so much for coming to breakfast this morning with Ray and me. We just loved having you. It was good. I appreciate you letting me come over here. Even though we made you cook your own bacon, your own eggs, basically <laughs> your own breakfast. Yeah, I didn't have to wait for 70 minutes for the loaf to cook. So, I know. So I was able to... <laughs> You had to do, but you had things you could do around your house. Yes, so, yes. So it worked out good. It was a good plan that we had. If you're watching this in the Carolinas on Sunday, which is the day you're watching it for us, it's tomorrow, it may very well be Snowmageddon. So we'll see. We're waiting it out, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, it could snow a lot. You never know in Charlotte if it's going to. It's right on that line most of the time, so we'll just have to see. We'll let you guys know next week if we got any yeah. snow, that's for sure. But I tell you what, if we do, I'm going to make some snow cream. That would be awesome. You'll have to call me so yep. I can learn how to make it because you and Mom always made it for us. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to trek the mile over here, but I'll talk you through it. Maybe you can FaceTime me or something like that. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be great. Okay, we'll, we'll try that for sure. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and comment. If you're not a subscriber, please be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification button. We post new videos every weekend and... Be sure to share with other people. That share button is very important to us. We are limited as far as the number of friends that we have, but it multiplies when you press the share button. So please do that for us. Also, remember all of the recipes and video links are in our online cookbook. So the link is below, so. It's called the Girly Family Cookbook, and we look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.